Okay, in this video I'm going to uh, explain how to set up a configuration within Topser for uh, post-processing. So in order to do that we're going to go to configure, survey, and under our GPS uh, plus configuration drop-down list we can see what we have available. Uh, and in this case I want to add a new configuration. So to do that I'll tap the edit box to the right and then what I want to do is click on add give the configuration a name I'll call this post processing and the type of survey configuration is post processing static then I'll click on next and the uh, the base manufacturer uh, most most guys are running GAs so uh, it's Topcon and the receivable mo receiver model here will uh, leave the top con generic set the elevation mass to 10 and under the antenna type here we'll pick hyper GA slash GB and the uh, antenna height is default to zero we'll set that when we set up our receivers and it's a slant measurement so then we tap next and uh, this dialog box is asking us uh, what do we want to name our file when we start it so here I'm going to select user defined from this drop down so you'll be able to call the point whatever you'd like. Uh, we're logging data to the receiver and at whatever logging interval you decide um, you can enter that here. So uh, for this example I'll type in 5. And this screen is showing us the uh, initialization time in minutes and it's basically telling us that if we're tracking six or more satellites with a dual frequency receiver we're going to occupy the point for at least 10 minutes plus 2 minutes per kilometer of baseline separation. I'll tap next. And uh, this is a, this uh, setting actually does not apply here. This is a configuration for stakeout. So at this point we can tap finish. And we see now that we have a configuration name post processing in our drop down list. So if I want to switch back to RTK, I can go into my list and pick whatever equipment I'm using, Hyper GA. If I want to do post-processing and use my controller to connect to the receiver to start, stop, and name files, I can click on post-processing. Okay.